Hey, good morning. Good morning, 733 Coach Michael Burt. I'm down in Watercolor, Florida. It's a brisk, uh, brisk morning here. And I just want to say good morning to you. I like to bring some energy, some motivation, some mindset, some prey drive, which is instinct to pursue. And we're going to talk about that today. Pursue what? Deals. Opportunity. Potential. Strategic partnership. And uh, I, I talk a lot about simple things that make a big difference. Okay? Big good book title right there, right? Simple things that make a big difference. And um, there's a lot of simple things as a coach that I see every day that people don't do, right? And then they come back and they say, well, I'm not, I don't have enough leads or I don't have enough opportunity or I don't, you know, I'm not closing enough business or I'm not making enough money. And, and so I like to take something that seems complicated because I think that's what a good coach does, take something complicated and make it simple. And I like to break it down and go, uh, uh, this is a game of probability. We can increase the probability by taking action. We can decrease the probability by not taking action. But we go back to some simple things. Newton's law, objects at rest stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. Objects in motion stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. People at rest, stay at rest, unless I don't buy an outside force. So I spent a lot of time talking about initiating, okay? And and um, initiating means to start. Activation means to like crank up. That's prey drive is is right. It's got to be activated, and then there's a persistence to it. Well, last night at uh, I don't know about ten o'clock, I had a, a flood of creativity, and I initiated. And I reached out to my team and said, well, man, we're having a, a boot camp on visioneering on the 9th of December. It's about how to map out your next year. We need to do a webinar. So I, so I initiated and went to, the, went to the calendar, picked the date, sit down and wrote out the, the content for that webinar, right? And then I initiated with my team and I said, man, let's get this up today. Here are the actions for Craig. Here's the actions for Mark. Here's the actions for, right? And I'm like, boom, 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 okay? I said, here are the actions I want everybody to do. I initiated. Now, when you think about this, you say, why do people not do this? Why do they not reach out? Why do they not uh, present an idea? Why do they not uh, send a voice text? Why do they not follow up until they bring something to a close? Why do they not initiate? For one reason, fear of something. So I like to say either you have an attitude problem or you got a skills problem. Now, the good news is if you got the right attitude, we can fix the skills. But if you got the wrong attitude, we can't fix the skills. So if you're out there and you've ever said, man, this is just the way it's going to be. This is all the money I'm ever going to make. This is the best my life is going to get. This is it. Then, then I want to encourage you to step back and go, how do I initiate something else? How do I reach out to somebody to start a cycle of something? How do I, how do I initiate an idea and follow up on the idea? How do I, how do I see something through to its logical conclusion? How do I make sure people do what they said they were gonna do? How do I, right? So so most of my day, quite frankly, has been initiating. Initiate ideas, follow up on ideas. Initiate follow up, follow up on that follow up. Initiate uh, a, a concept. You go there in the mind before you go there in the body. All things are created twice. But you never go anywhere if you never go there in the mind. Okay, I see it. Boom, we should be doing this. Boom, like I was thinking last night about a way to, to move 500 copies of, of the new book, Flip the Switch. And I was thinking, what if five people purchased 500 copies? And for those five people, I put them on the private jet, we fly to Chicago or, you know, somewhere for dinner. And what if we included this and this and this and we made it this incredible experience and we say it's for five people. And then what if, uh, one of the ideas I had was what if we, uh, I'm just trying to think about all my ideas I had last night for the book because I was trying to think about how to move copies of the book, right? And so I was coming up with all of these strategies in the bestseller campaign. Oh, the Prey Drive Turnaround. Five businesses, the businesses purchase 250 copies of the book or 500, I take those businesses for six months to turn them around and get their sales going. 
right? Whatever it takes to turn them around, but they got to purchase 250 cups. So I came up with the Prey Drive turnaround. I came up with the, 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 the private jet trip to Chicago for five people. I came up with 20 couples or 20 people at the lodge for dinner plus a private concert with the major artist if they bought uh, uh, 250 copies. See, what I'm doing is I'm initiating. Idea. Now, these ideas are useless if you don't follow up on them. They, they, the, the relationships you have, if you don't follow up on them, are not going to manifest. So when, when I say, man, you don't initiate enough, you don't create enough ideas, you don't have enough energy towards something, you don't follow up, you don't, like, like you don't really uh, initiate enough to create enough energy to follow up to have enough opportunity, guys. And that's just the bottom line. So this morning's Pray Drive Talk, and I'm doing this every Wednesday at 1230. I do about 30 minutes. We had a good group on there yesterday is where I'm just taking prey drive and I'm breaking it down. But one part of prey drive is to start, it's to hunt. It's to go into the battle, right? It's to go into the hunt. It's to it's to have an idea and go, you know what? I don't know if it's going to work or not, but, but I'm going to try it. And then I pursue like that animal pursues the prey, okay? And if you're out there and you go, man, I don't, I don't pursue enough. I don't follow up enough. Now, I was telling my wife yesterday, there's no amount of follow-up. It's going to bring a person to a close that just ain't interested in doing something. But 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 I got to give people credit who just keep jab jab jab. Look, I got to give people credit who get in the game, man. I got to give people credit who at least work the system of follow up to its logical conclusion. Okay, and there is a logical conclusion. You have captured what you set out to capture. That is a logical conclusion. Okay, so if you're out there and you say, man, I just don't, I don't, I don't activate my prey drive enough. Uh, the new book is going to be out on Amazon pretty soon. It's unavailable right now, but it will be out pretty soon. We're going to be moving a lot of copies of that individually. We're going to be incentivizing you for every person that, that buys a copy of the book. We're going to get them access to a, a full day called Activate, uh, I think on January 4th, which is going to be a big, big, big uh, conference I'm doing. So if you're out there, man, and you're, and you're just thinking about it, Take the thought and turn into action. There is no right or wrong. It may work, it may not work, but here's what I know. It's a 100% chance it won't work if you don't make the effort. All right, I'm Coach Burt. I got six or seven couples coming down for Couples Retreat here in beautiful Florida. If you've never been down here, uh, we're excited to host the couples. We're excited to uh, help them activate their prey drive. So you guys have a great day. I'm Coach Michael Burt. Everybody needs a coach. Initiate an idea today. Initiate a follow-up. Initiate a deal. Initiate, folks. Don't sit and wait. Don't sit and wait. Don't be an object at rest. Be an object in motion. Love you guys. Before I get started, there is one very important question I have to ask you. Coach Michael Burt, Monster Producer Academy CEO. He's a personal friend of mine. What good is it to have knowledge with no desire? What good is it to have desire with no skill? What good is it to have knowledge and skill with no confidence? A big part of activating your prey drive is finding and refining your talent. This is something that helps you get to the next place. People are made up of four parts, a body, a mind, a heart, and a spirit. You need to know you, and then you need to have an awareness, and sometimes you don't even know what you need. So all four parts of our nature have to be clicking. Your hard skill solves my problem. The bigger the problem, the more money people are paid to solve it. Everything is valuable to your future. What I'm really paying you for is your past. A monster producer combines multiple skills to dominate a market. When you get to wake up every day and do what you love doing, man, it is hard not to be motivated. They think at a higher ordinance than everybody else. They want to create new things. I have a conviction about me, and that's the conviction that you feel when I talk, when I speak. It comes across as passion. You got to learn how to connect to another person at such a deep level that it moves them. You have goals, you have targets, but you don't have a sense of urgency. They're going to exchange money, energy. They're going to raise capital. They're going to start new businesses. There's going to be joint ventures. I think your purpose finds you. It is activated. The word activate means to initiate. Discipline, which is a derivative of the word disciple, which means to give yourself to a person or cause you believe in. Do you believe in your future, yes or no? When we know better, we do better. Finding the problem that you are uniquely qualified to solve, and you don't know what problem you really solve for whom, then there is no big financial exchange right there. 
you should leave here thinking bigger today than when you came. And I want to shake your hand and look you in the eyeball when you make this decision. Thank you. We'll see you in the back. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.